Hey, welcome back everybody. My name is Josh and it's time for our weekly video here on JTO to go. This time I'm going to be talking to you about a little piece of hardware that's made my life easier, which is the AGP Tech GoPro frame mount. Um, I got this on Amazon.com for $8.99. The price has since gone up to about $16. I'm going to link this exact one and discuss the inherent advantages of this exact model. And I'll also link you guys to a page where you can find a variety of different ones that are almost identical to this. This one is essentially a clone of the $40 GoPro frame mount with an actual bonus advantage. So this is the old setup that you used to use. It is essentially a $4 Smotry frame mount, which is okay, it does its job. And I use these hard mounted to my dashboard, but you have to bend it around the uh, GoPro like so. The problem with that is once you mount it to your mount, in order to get the GoPro back out, you have to pull the screw out, take it out, and now you can access the battery, which can be kind of annoying when you go through as many GoPro batteries as I do. And that's where this guy comes in, the AGP Tech GoPro frame mount. It's essentially a clone of the $40 GoPro mount with a few inherent disadvantages. The first is that these speaker holes don't line up correctly. It's safe to say this was designed for a Hero 3. The only one that lines up is the top hole. It does include this nifty hinge to hold on your variety of GoPro backpacks like the LCD backpack or the battery backpack. In order to open this mount, you pull this latch up and you can just slide your GoPro in through the front. Then latch it back down as easy as that. This does however present the second set of problems with these knockoff mounts. The record and settings buttons are almost impossible to press in, but let me show you a little trick. You can fix it with something that came in your kit. Speaking of what's in the kit, let's go through that now. In your kit you'll receive a GoPro screw, a GoPro buckle mount, and what they claim to be a UV lens. This is what differentiates this mount from the others. Remember those power buttons? Just take your screw and push as hard as you can to pop it out. Do the same with the settings button. Now you can slide your GoPro back in. And you'll have clear access to the recording button and most people can have access to the settings button my pinky finger just barely fits in enough to press the button if you have bigger hands than me it might not work out for you so well but you can just use a pen or a, any other object to try to press it now about this UV lens I did a little test on it UV lenses are supposed to get rid of reflections from the sun on water pretty well. This one, I didn't see it do much. Maybe you guys can notice something. As far as I'm concerned, I think this is just a protective glass lens that they mislabeled as a UV lens. So here's a little clip of how I use my GoPro mounted to my dashboard to do a little vlogging. You can see I can remove my SD card, pull the GoPro out easily, and all in all, get to everything very nice and easy. It's much better than my older setup. Hey guys, thanks again for watching. I really do, I think this is a pretty good setup, especially for eight bucks for a beginner GoPro user or anybody that just wants something more convenient and doesn't want to pay the $40 to GoPro to buy something this simple. Um, again, I'm gonna link this into the description. Honestly, if I was you, I'm gonna put a couple links down there. I would check different ones and I'm gonna link to the page that has all of them on there. Just make sure it's the one that is a clone of the original GoPro one and all the stuff I said in this video should still apply to it. Um, watch out for these ones. These are not the ones you want. So anyway, I appreciate you guys watching. Next week is going to be a big week on the channel. I got big things in mind. It's going to be a launch of something new. Hope you guys are ready. Hope you guys want to support me. If you do want to support me, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I'll see you guys next week.